game industry. A world that exists in a dimension other than our own, where the four goddesses watch and rule over their nations. Last Station. The nation ruled by the goddess Blackheart. Loi. The nation ruled by the goddess Whiteheart. Leanbox. The nation ruled by the goddess Greenheart. And Planetoon, the nation ruled by the goddess Purpleheart. Though the nations faced the threat of destruction many times, the four goddesses have always banded together to defend game industry. In their current adventure, however, they have been selected as beta testers for a brand new online game. That game is called... are super cute! I look so heroic! Amazing! Yeah! I tried to make it look just like me in real life, but I might have gotten a little carried away. <laughs> I'm like a kangaroo! Bouncing and jumping! Swinging a sword! Oh yeah! These controls are so comfy! Ahem! Now then, I should introduce myself. The name's Neptune, the goddess of a little nation called Planet Tune. Not to mention the series protagonist. But here, on Four Goddesses Online, I'm but a lowly apprentice paladin. I'm just here taking a break from my work. I'm supposed to play this game with the others today. But where are they? Whoa! Right on cue! Hey! I'm over here! You're early, Neptune. I didn't think you'd be the first here. No one's ever late when it comes to playing a new game. Lon, you're a priest? Oh, wow. It's giving me goosebumps seeing you in that outfit. This is incredible. Well, I usually play DPS characters in games, so I thought this might be nice for a change. Hey, um, so what about my outfit? Ooh, you're a Black Knight Noir? <laughs> Interesting choice. Are you burning hot with rivalry against me, the noble paladin? It's not like that. But there's no way I'd lose to you when it comes to playing an online game. Goodness, everyone is here already. I apologize for making you wait. We all just got here. Don't even worry about it. What class are you? <laughs> that outfit looks so elven. <laughs> I have chosen the Enchanter class. It is the only class that bestows attributes upon players depending on the situation. Your weapon's a rapier? In real life, Noir has a sword, and you have a spear. But here you've switched. It would seem everyone has changed quite a bit in our short time here. Looking at the balance of our classes, we should make a splendid party. Alrighty, now that everyone's here, I guess I'll introduce these three here to you guys on the other side of the screen. This girl's Noir. She's the goddess of a little nation known as... Dun Dun Dun! La Station! She's usually a bit of a loner, but since she's in our party, I guess she doesn't have to be so lonely this time around. <laughs> Way to go, Noir! When all is said and done, Noir's sassy wit is a great foil to my finely tuned sense of slapstick. Please, take care of her, everyone. Ahem. Up next is Blonde. She's the goddess of a nation full of snowy wonder, the land of white serenity, the wintry, the wonderful, the lovely Loi. She's a shy, homely girl who loves to read, but once she loses her temper, she's unstoppable. Also, 
She's occasionally frustrated with her shortcomings in the, um, chest area, <laughs> but it seems like her loyal subjects are fine with that. Last up is Vert. Even if she might seem like the calmest of us four, she's a super hardcore gamer, a cut above the rest. As you can see, she's got a lot of, um, volume. She acts like her older sister sometimes, but she's actually the only one here without a sibling. But anyway, this here lady is also known as the goddess of Leanbox. Please, give them all your support. Hey, who are you talking to? And I thought I heard something about being lonely. Hey, what's this about shortcomings? A sister? Did you mention something about me having a little sister? Huh? Y you're just imagining things. You guys are so silly. <laughs> hmm, really now? Come on, let's stop the chit-chat and finish up these tutorials. Oh, hey, there's a sign over there. Uh, where do you think you're going? Don't run away from me, Neptune. I agree with Neptune. I would like to try the combat here as soon as possible. Come now, Blonde. We should catch up to them. Good grief. It's like this every time. Normally, our nations compete against each other, but in this world, we can actually have fun and play together. The party shares a common destiny. There will be no rogue players. We work together. I will personally lend a hand if anyone needs help. You know, Vert, you're the first person I'd suspect of being a solo player and running away from the party. Yep, I agree. I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep up with your playing style, Vert. I don't really do all-nighters, so I'll leave that to you. <laughs> not to worry. Just this once, I will not concern myself with completion or ranking lists. I will simply and sincerely explore this new world. I will make new friends and tell others about this wonderful new game. That is my responsibility as one who received an early access invitation from the Four Goddesses Online Management. I take this seriously. I'm shocked. That MMO monster Vert isn't going to try and be a top-ranking player. Seriously, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Somebody picked my jaw up off the floor. Well, playing casually would be a good break from work. And this doesn't feel like a game meant for competition. I can respect that, Vert. Thank you, Noir. That being said, let us let loose and enjoy ourselves. I believe this episode will take place on a different stage than the one from the previous Four Goddesses Online. I am exploring this world for the first time, and along with all the other beta testers, I am beginning at level one. I am so thoroughly excited! Ooh, is that it? Hey, I found the event point for the tutorial! Wow, what a beautiful view! It's so inspiring. It's just like if we were out sightseeing in the real world. Our new adventure's about to begin. Now then, everyone, let us move on towards the new horizon of Four Goddesses Online. Yeah! Dance to the kina.